So to kick this video off, I go in with my gold comb and I'm combing everything but the grain, getting everything to lay and prepare to trim the hair down. My client was supposed to wear a do-rag, but he did not wear his do-rag. So as you guys can see, this hair is all over the place, but we're going to get it together today. So please lock in, focus up with me. Y'all know what time it is. Let's get this money. So I go in with a number two guard and that's with the grain on my Anders ZR2s and I'm just keeping everything consistent because you cannot really dig in the hair with this blade or these clippers. These clippers give you no room for error. You have to take your time. You gotta pay attention to what you're doing. You gotta keep everything consistent and before anything, don't hurt the client. If you dig into the hair with detachable clippers, it will feel like that it's snatching the hair. So just take your time, keep everything consistent. As you guys can see, the waves is popping out. I promise you, if y'all sit and get to the end of this video y'all gonna know what time it is the type of bag that i'm gonna hop in for this video the amount of pressure we finna apply see y'all know what time it is hashtag tbt in the comment section hashtag glacier gang all of that focus up let's lock in it's 2019 this year the creators we're not playing with nobody like i told y'all before we coming in this year a 2020 with the same fashion that we did with 19 and we're gonna end 19 with a bang we're not letting up so i go in with a number two guard on my andis fade masters in the crown area all because detachable blades at times can nick and yank hair from other places um so you want to go in with a guard just so you can have more room to be free form and as you guys can see i can lift the crown and go in with the two completely open and get majority of that hair down to that desired length without destroying the crown that is the biggest thing on wave of haircuts do not be no crown killer take your time and make sure that you're cutting that hair in a pattern that is growing because the calic will not grow all in the same pattern so I go in with my gold FX's and I break into the back of my neckline at least an inch into the taper because we will be doing a higher taper today. So if you guys just focus in, I promise, man, this is going to be one of them ones. I go in completely closed with my Andes Master and I'm starting to nudge at this line. And I just want to make sure that I keep everything consistent without overly pushing in my guideline and without cutting enough hair. Because I feel like that's a mistake that a lot of people make. We don't go up high enough in our taper or open our guideline lines up even more so as you guys can see i'm halfway here doing my second guideline in the back of the neck taper keeping everything consistent flicking in and out making sure i'm brushing one and i'm fading one and staying consistent no matter what like that, that, that that's what we doing 2019 that was already that this is a part of our year consistency is a part of my game if you don't want to be consistent there's no point in you watching these videos because i'm not helping you and no, no way, shape, or form. So I'm completely open with my Andis Masters, and I'm flicking out, keeping everything consistent, making sure that I'm lifting the hair and making sure that I'm getting the gradiency and getting the transition that I want for the back of the taper. And as you guys can see, this thing is just coming together like very well. Everything is slowly but surely. I'm taking my time throughout this haircut. And I just want to show you guys in so many ways and, you know, fashion and form that you can apply pressure to any haircut. I was so discouraged when he came in and the do-rag wasn't on and the hair was everywhere because that's going to destroy, you know, my ending result. He did lose some type of progress, but at the end of the day, when you guys see my finished product, y'all going to lose y'all mind. So I went in completely closed. And now I'm halfway here with my 116th guard. Everything is systematic. It's closed, halfway open. Everything is systematic for me. So I don't change my steps no matter what. But because I blended out my zero to one line, everything with my 116th is closed, medium, and then all the way open. And as you guys can see, we are getting our gradients and our taper right together in right order. This is a higher taper, so we want it to create a nice transition because the type of taper that I will do to the side of his head is going to match it perfect. I just can't wait for you guys to really see it. I hopped all the way in the bag for this one for y'all. As you guys can hit a beat, it's literally there. My dog say Quan smoked it. And, you know, we just keeping everything consistent. We enjoying the game for what it is. And I'm fully open with my 116th here, as you guys can see. And I'm blending out this last panel. And I will bring this together with everything that's already tapered. So as you guys seen that I was open and I'm dropping my lever slowly but surely just so I could create my gradiency. And as you 
as you guys see, everything is coming together. Everything is systematic. Take your time, and I promise you the game gonna reward you for everything you put into it. Right here, I'm in halfway with my one eighth guard, and I'm just basically trimming most of the boat towards the bottom of the last big wave because we want most of the hair to give off a laid look so the transition can be consistent through and through, opposed to nice transition at the bottom. And then, you know, it's dark when it get up to his last big wave. That's not what we doing. In order to do a high taper, you have to create a transition in either a tight area or a high area and um, lightly take away the bulk. Like on a waiver, you have to lightly take away the bulk. You can't really dig into it because once that hair is gone, you have nothing else to work with. So I go on with my gold effects and I'm just hitting the sideburn area in a round circular motion so I could give it off a round bursted look to this taper then I go in completely open with my end as masters giving myself about a half inch of a guideline just so I could create myself a nice size panel for me to blow out then I go in completely closed with my end as master slowly but surely notching at the bottom of the line halfway here getting everything consistent and we almost blend it out as you guys can see you can make this job a 30 minute job but details matters to me I want the nastiest transition possible so I'm gonna work at it non-stop even if the hair is cut and I'm completely closed right here and as you guys can see like I'm just nudging at the line with the corner of my blade. I'm not doing too much work because you want to slowly but surely take away the bulk from the side so you don't create another guideline. That's the objective when you fade or doing any type of, you know, um, gradient C work is that you want to use the corner of your blade, especially when you're in a tight area, especially when you don't want to push the fade. That is very vital to your, to your process as a barber. So I go in and repeat the same steps that I did up top to the bottom, open, halfway, close. What you do to the bottom is what you do to the top. It's just reciprocated. It is finding the common denominator in barbering. You just take what you know in multiple uh, industries. We learned common denominators when we was in what? Sixth, seventh grade, maybe less, lower grades than that. But we just applying steps that we had in other industries and the one that we have now and the one that we love now is kind of easier to read. And you kind of create your own theory and everything becomes systematic to you to a sense. And that's what I'm talking about when I say uh, 2019 year to creators, we want people to come with a whole different soft flavor, flair, all of that. Like you want everybody to be in a bag solely just because it's, 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 it's too many flavors in this world for anybody to say that they got the game, you know, by the neck. It's impossible to possess every, you know, every skill set of the game. You can work on it and you can further education. And that's what it's about. Furthering education, staying consistent with yourself, investing in yourself. But, you know, most importantly, Remaining humble throughout all of your situations And always remaining astute no matter what That's how you grow in barbering Remaining astute is what created this animal in me And me putting up shots non-stop Is what built consistency and repetition in my game I am here to give you nothing but consistency and repetition When you hear Bean, that's the only thing I want y'all to think of Precision, consistency, nothing else like that's my objective this whole year is to put up the shots non-stop so I go in with my spritz spraying everything getting everything in order just because this lining is not hard but I can see where a lot of people will mess it up you kind of got a light spot in the middle of the lineup and two lighter spots in the corner so I'm gonna show you guys how to keep everything consistent and keep everything laid and prepared for the next step so as you guys can see when I go in with my spritz I'm laying everything down I gotta prep the hair and then my next step is for me to go over over the head with my Andis Fade Blade on my wall 1919s by my boy Filthy Blends. If you don't know how to spell that, go to Instagram and you spell filthy with a PH instead of a F. And then it's filthy underscore blends is spelled with a Z. And you'll be able to get the bracket that will be able to convert your Andis uh, Blade and put them on your wall body. So I just keep everything consistent. Once I lay the hair down with a spritz, I go in and I just freehand over it. Then I go in with my gold FXs and I start tapping it to the vertical bars of the neckline and once i get to the ear i shift to the corner of the blade to create my roundabout around the ear keeping everything consistent you want this haircut as laid as possible you want every line symmetrical as possible because you want to show sauce flavor and flair then i hit the back of the beard because this is very 
are very, very necessary to me. As I stated in previous videos, everything is set up, you know, for the haymakers. Like in boxing, they get set up combos for, that, 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 that go into hooks or that go into a nice power shot. This is my combo or this is my setup for my haymaker. I'm slowly but surely putting in reference points before I get to the motherland. That's what it's about. This is how I set myself up for the consistent look and the precise and the symmetrical look you have to repeat the same steps that you put on one side on another side just so you can create the symmetrical flow and as you guys can see i go on the back of the beard line keep everything consistent making sure that this line is as straight as possible and so far we have an amazingly framed out you know haircut then i go in in the middle where it started to get light at and then I'll use that as my reference point and I'll take it all the way to the left all because he got lighter hair. So I don't want you guys to think you have to dig into that lighter hair. Go across that lighter hair as if that hair is fuller. You want to be able to portray a clean, full look without taking somebody back. And you kind of want to, you know, get a gist of what the lining will look like just in case you have to take them back. It's always safe, you know, to leave more hair and you know work with the line that you got now opposed to digging to the hair trying to fix the line and off back and you took the line and you know too far back the average barber would have took this further back because of the light spots but you don't need to that is the whole point about finesse and, and becoming you know a barber you kind of tend to see things you know in a different light the more you put up your shots and because the lining is my favorite thing i know for a fact i wouldn't have to dig into the light spots i'll take it as easy as possible i'm playing as fair as possible i'm tapping and going and i'm not applying a lot of pressure on my clippers to the client head because my clippers are very sharp they can handle this job on their own the objective is just to put the clippers in a place and not give off a lot of pressure you let the clippers do all of the work that they're meant to do when bagels created this clipper they knew what type of power they were putting in this clipper they knew what they were giving the average you know the average barber or consumer that picked up this clipper so this clipper does not need a lot of weight distributed to it when you apply in the line and do not press your lines and you just let everything naturally come to you and you're able to get the Chicago season and everything else. So I go in with my boy Sean Cuts here, color enhancement car, the clutch car, and I'm going in with my product, the Beam Team Coolers Compressor, assisting it with our other product, uh, No Drip. And I'm basically going in and I'm spraying at a three to four inch radius and I'm keeping everything consistent. And as you guys can see, I'm tapping my finger and I'm spraying them spurts because you don't want to overly apply this color and you don't want to add too much color. When you have a light spot the color can tend to look weird if you overly apply it in a light spot so you kind of got to learn your checks and balances with applying color but due to that card I'm able to stay on my boundaries next I go in with a barber magic pencil and I'm basically sketching you know a line over my line of concealing the line of like women they will go in they'll color the eyebrow and after they color the eyebrow you know they'll go in and conceal the eyebrow and that's my objective my objective is just to apply what I see in another the industry in mind and make it work as best as possible and you know bend shapes you know non-stop and show a level of precision that the client has never seen so i go in with my gold fx's and i'm lightly hitting the line up again so after they put the concealer on their eyebrows they'll go in with a blending brush and basically blend the conceal or the concealer out so it's not too harshly white and as you guys can see i'll just be replacing their blending brush with my trimmers and as you guys can see the spread and the consistency in the barber magic pencil once i hit it as it spreads across the skin and shows that contrast that's that's what I'm here for. I'm here for the looks that you can't get in the average shop. I'm here to be able to take some of the cleanest pictures possible. And I'm also here to install confidence in any human being that sit in my chair. When I signed up for Barbara, I signed up for life change. And I didn't sign up to be the nicest with my hands. I signed up to change lives. I signed up to impact lives. I signed up to influence and educate myself at all times. I signed up for a career that has no, no, no max like the potential is through the roof it is a forever growing industry you guys better remember that and respect that that barbering is just not picking up clippers and cutting hair there's so many factors that go into barbering that make people great barbers you know create your recipe
And then people will be able to test your flavor out. That's what it's about. You have to be able to stand on everything that you produce in the shop because that is a, a, a walking image of your hands. It's a walking image of what you do every day. My objective is to instill confidence. I even cut nose hairs, if you see me. Like, I do it all. The objective is to get the client as clean as possible. And as you guys can see, we in that bag. I go in with that Tomb 45 triple cartridge razor. I'm stretching the skin, angling the razor at a 45 degree angle bringing everything back to the line and as you guys can see it's nasty we're not even near like this is just the first lap like this is our first lap around the lineup with the razor we go in with a whisk we dust everything off and we repeat the same steps because the first time you do something it may look clean or okay but it's not it i put up the shot multiple times repetition is key the more you shoot the shot the more comfortable you're gonna get and the more times that shot drop it's gonna be something added to your arsenal just remember man keep putting the shots up stay consistent hashtag tbt is glacier gang we in the building hashtag that in that comment section everybody that's a part of the beam team everybody that's been a part of the glacier gang 2019 year the creators everybody that's been a part of every hashtag movement i love it i love it and i can't even express to you guys how much that i love it just because i've been applying so much pressure with the videos i've been consistently dropping my videos and it's only to get you guys reactions and you guys feedback you guys deserve every bit of my information that come from me you guys deserve every bit of my effort in terms of content creation i've built a family i've built a community here hashtag tbt in that comment section y'all know what time it is lock in focus up it's our uh, yeah so i'm keeping everything consistent angling that razor at a 45 degree angle bringing everything back to the line and not taking no as an answer this lining will cooperate with me because i apply pressure to it that was the objective i wanted everything to fall in my place nothing to be out of line bag season y'all know what time it is we go in with a pick and we just raise the hair and we using our andis fade blade on our wall 1919s and we just shaping everything and as you guys can see from this angle the pressure was applied i literally played no games with the world in this haircut no games at all in the imperfect world we do get clients that come in like this they did not wear they do rag the night before the hair is all over the place and at times you think you can never fix it but on my team, this is how we get out. Hashtag TBT. It's the Beam Team. Lock in. Focus up. Strap in. Let's get this money. Hashtag Glacier Gang. Hashtag Glass. We in the building. We ain't playing no games. It's 2019. It's Year of the Creators. And may God bless. I'm trying. I know you're through, man. You're through.